hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel this sandbar is lg eclair all in one sandbar this beautiful stuff deserves your attention this sandbar is with dolby utmost and dtx surround system this sandbar work with amazon alexa google home apple airplay connection you can connect the sandbar via bluetooth optical cable hdmi and wi-fi network this sandbar got five speakers and the 3.1 channel sandbar and it deserves your attention this sandbar is beautiful what i want to show you is how to hook this sandbar to your tv via optical cable this sandbar hdmi cable is included in the packaging which is handy if you want to connect this sandbar using optical cable now you need to buy the optical cable separate beautiful stuff pass through built-in subwoofer audio power 100 watts meridian technology chromecast with triple level spatial sound create a dome of audio around you for three-dimensional experience this sandbar is also good to know that while orchestra uses the sandbar and speaker in your LG TV at the same time so that you can hear everything in detail as clear as a bell present with perfect harmony sound with LG TV it uses both LG TV and LG sandbar at the same time and ultimately listening experience free detail sound experience easy control now what I want to show you is how to hook this sandbar up with optical cable so the optical cable is not included in the packaging but I have this at home so I'm going to show you how to connect it using optical cable and I'm going to connect this with LG TV so this LG TV and to connect this sandbar to your TV what you need to do is first of all we need to unplug the sandbar from the power now once you unplug the sandbar then from the back you will see optical in Okay, just next to the power cable, you will see optical in. So push the one end of the optical cable inside, just next to the power. Okay. Now the next thing to do is take this other end of the cable. Okay, put it to the back of your TV where it's written optical DC in. So push it back of your TV where it's written optical DC in. Push the cable in, in and it's in. Okay. Now the next thing to do is we need to plug in the power cable for the TV and the sandbar. Plug it on to the power. So plug it on. And also plug the TV onto the power and also connect the TV antenna okay so now what we need to do is we need to switch on the sandbar and the TV on okay so switch the TV on and now also switch the sandbar Like to just go through the okay. sequence so, so now what we did this is the TV audio from the input select Bluetooth Bluetooth optical ARC now this is optical ARC okay so it's an optical cable the next thing we need to go to TV settings so use so select your TV settings okay on top select TV settings now scroll down to so when you select TV setting then you scroll down to the sound just want to make sure you see what I'm doing okay now this is the TV setting scroll down to the sound use the remote control to scroll down to sound and you can see the sound is currently in TV speaker okay I, this is the um, press by journalists contacting him this is aware of social media this is the TV speaker okay so now 
you need to select from the remote select the sound when you go to the sound you need to select the tv speaker okay delete tv speaker then you need to scroll to the optical scroll to the side you can see bluetooth optical device select i'm trying to make this is the audio supporting in whatever way whatever ways were appropriate this is the audio uh, to handle uh, the social media uh, intrusion on this, this is the uh, audio the this is beautiful and uh, when is again the focus on duty when is in optical so you need to control the, this with the remote the sandbar remote uh, the um, head of production who has continued having dialogue with person x over the last three years this is the sound uh, person X and our head of HR for daytime uh, spoke to him on many occasions um, and see when you look here you can see optical device doctor, but also using the opportunity to ask the questions I think he was asked the question 12 the uh, conversations that you've now realized he denied it um, now from that when Philip came on when this from the remote control right you you can also select again various you lower the volume from here and uh, again the word also select the preset music this is music serious conversations with philip schofield and his agent music game game so you need to press this button twice to change it from music to game or to change the preset Game. Bass blast. Bass blast. And then addition as as Karen has mentioned. AI Sound Pro. AI Sound Pro. So when you select particular preset, then you need to wait for for that to pick up. AI Sound Pro. Standard. This is standard. Cinema. Cinema. Um, straightforward categorical denials each time. Cinema. Cinema. Clear Voice Pro. Right up to the day when finally admitted that he'd been lying. So this is Clear Voice Pro. So guys, this is something that I thought to show you how to hook this up to your TV. If you're happy with this. Once it's in the optical, then you need to use remote control from the sandbar to control it. You can only control this together with one remote control when it's in Bluetooth, which I'm going to show you as well. So now this sandbar is connected via optical cable. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much. Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome. This is LG Sandbar Eclair all in one sandbar with Dolby Atmos compatible with Dolby Vision DTS surround system this sandbar work with Google Home Amazon Alexa Apple Airplay this sandbar perfect harmonized the sound with LG TV easy convenient interface with LG TV this sandbar I like the front panel with a bit of cloth gray cloth on top of it mix of gray and black it's very beautiful and from the back here you can hook this sandbar to your tv via optical cable hdmi e arc and bluetooth connection this sandbar is also wi-fi enabled so you can connect this sandbar via wi-fi network this usb is for service this sandbar is beautiful it's not heavy just gonna measure this sandbar so from this end to here is 79 centimeter and from here the width is 12 centimeter okay so this sandbar is a triple level spatia sand which allow you to create a sand dome lg sandbar push the boundary of the entertainment experience your sandbar present triple level spatia sound, a more immersive and accurate sound experience by using head related transfer function, related 3D engine. 
we are sand bar create a visual middle layer it means that the sand layer realizes a sophisticated surround sound that you will only experience in the theater so this sand bar is beautiful stuff you feel resonate bars with 4k radiator lg sand bar se6s has four passive radiator to deliver big and consistent bars enjoy your favorite in full range of sound with minimal interior now what i want to show you is how to hook this sand bar up this sand bar got five speakers and audio power is 100 watts now to hook this up I'm going to use my HDMI cable. HDMI cable is included in the packaging as well, which is handy. If you want to connect this sound by using optical cable, then you need to buy this separate. And to hook this up, you need to go at the back. Okay, so I'm going to use HDMI e arc port. Okay, so put the cable inside one of the cable end, push it inside it, and it's in. Okay, the cable is in in HDMI e arc. Now the back, the other cable, the other cable, we need to take the other cable to the back of your TV. Now this is the, this is LG TV, okay? So this end of the cable need to go to Go to HDMI e arc. So put the other cable here to HDMI e arc. Push it inside and it's in. Okay. Now we're going to switch the TV and remote and sound back on. So plug in the TV and also plug in the sound bar. So once you hook the cable, the next thing you need to do, you need to switch the TV on and also switch the sound bar on. Now, then go to your TV remote and select settings. Press the TV settings. Then scroll down to the sound. Okay, you can see it's currently in op optical device. Select on it. Okay, now what you need to do is scroll down to HDMI. Okay, this is HDMI arc. Select on it. I've done this differently. Okay. But if the KC does so this is the audio. That in future we should do. So this is the audio. We will listen, we will learn, and we will act. So when you look here, you see HDMI device. So this sound bar now is connected. It's not a blind eye. I mean, nobody here on the board would ever. can see. When it's in blue, when it's um, HDMI, you can control the TV and the sound bar with one remote control, which is handy. But when you connect this with optical, you can only co control it with sound bar remote. So the beauty is this sound bar, once it's in HDMI, okay, when you connect it with HDMI cable, you can control the TV and the sound bar using one remote control, which is beautiful. So this is the remote control and you can see it's controlling it up. Okay. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And if you select the preset, you change it. This is music. This is music. Music. So when you select the preset twice, it changed from music to music. Game. Game. This is game. Game. Bass Blast AI Sound Pro AI Sound Pro Standard 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 
Cinema. 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 Clear Voice Pro. Sports. Sports. Music. Okay, so thank you very much guys. This is how to hook this up to TV using HDMI cable. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is LG Sandbar E-Clear all-in-one sandbar with Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, compatible with Dolby Vision DTS. This sandbar is perfect, perfect harmonious, harmonious sound with LG TV easy and convenient interface with lg tv this soundbar work with google home amazon alexa apple airplay this soundbar can hook it up via your tv via optical cable hdmi cable bluetooth and wi-fi network this soundbar is currently connected via hdmi cable this gear deserves your attention what i want to show you is uh, how to connect this soundbar to your TV via Bluetooth. But before we do that, we want to do the measurement from this end to here. It is 79 centimeter, 79 centimeter length or, or height, if you like 79 centimeter, and the width is 12 centimeter. This soundbar got five speakers and 100 watts audio power. It's beautiful stuff, very nice, powerful, nice design. And when you connect this soundbar to Bluetooth, it will change. So you need to use the preset, the input to change it to the particular mode you want. And if you select, it will change to different mode. Okay. Now what I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to TV using via Bluetooth. So I'm going to switch the TV off. So I'm, this sandbar, just removing the, the cable. This is HDMI cable and it's included in the packaging. So HDMI cable is included in the packaging. Now to connect this sandbar to TV via Bluetooth, what you need to do is first of all, we need to switch the soundbar on okay and select bluetooth use the input to select to change it to particular mode so select bluetooth so you can see the bluetooth light is highlighting so when it's in Bluetooth, the light will highlight. And if it's connected, you will see a three blue light. Okay, three blue light will highlight when it's connected. So now this soundbar is in Bluetooth mode. Now switch the TV on. Now this is the TV audio. This is the TV audio. Now go to your TV settings just gonna remove this so go to your TV settings when you select your TV setting then you need to scroll down to sound so use the remote control to scroll down to sound and you can see the sound out is TV speaker so this is the TV speaker correctly so you need to select the sound Use the center and select the sound. Now you need to scroll to the side to where it's written Bluetooth devices. So scroll to the side, you can see Bluetooth. So you need to scroll down to search for devices, select search for devices. And now it's looking for available device. So what it's doing now is looking for available device and it picked up, it picked up LG speaker USE6S under 5656. Five, six. Okay, 
so what you need to do you need to select on it and it's connecting it's connected about it were repeatedly told nothing so, and uh, nothing else reward was happening you can see the three lights is about is showing that this is once it's connected to bluetooth the three light will be highlighting to show you it's in bluetooth the welfare of the staff they so say this sun banner is connected continuing to offer support okay. via bluetooth and when it's in bluetooth mode you can control it with the two remote control. But let's turn now back to our main story today and that is the unfolding developments in Nottingham. For so you can control it with the two, can control it with both remotes. Moving it, but this sandbar deserves your attention. Thank you very much indeed. And this is how to hook this up to your TV via Bluetooth. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Thank you.